Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through Expo Router. So in React Native we use a router and uh, in Expo they provide a files file based routing system which is pretty cool uh, we are going to use a uh, wave for this so you'll be uh, you just need to search for expo router once you do that you'll be greeted with this very first link in here just click here and uh, just follow the step nothing much so i'll get this uh, the very first command uh, all you have to do is to install node.js this is uh, required so npm npx commands will be uh, available so and make sure that to pass hyphen t uh, so you will have uh, options to choose the template uh, i will go with the blank one so we can uh, with the javascript so we can set up everything as per our own choice so app hyphen router i'll name it uh, this is my file uh, project name later i'll have to install a bunch of dependencies uh, so we'll go one by one it will it won't take much if we are using the blank project uh, these are the dependencies that is installing in here default port would be 881 so when we will run this it should run on 881 you can use the simulators and everything that you want but if you don't have to like if you don't want to install anything all you have to do is to uh, install this expo app expo app is available for the uh, android and ios both so you can debug your apps accordingly later i'll have to install these dependencies because these dependencies allows you to use app router and i'm gonna grab this this is same like uh, next.js if you are aware of react already so uh, this is a next.js like uh, file based routing that we are gonna use in here so i got this very first structure i don't have anything in here special this is uh, pretty simple my app.js i'm not gonna touch to this and all you have to do is to install change the directory first so i got the directory app router i just wanted to clear this i'll install the all the dependencies make sure to use the npx expo so you don't have to install expo cli explicitly so this is how i'm installing this bunch of pieces in here and if you are using a web you want a web as well apart from android and iphone so you need this additional two dependencies that you can grab from here you can paste it in here and you're good to go make sure to check your package.json whatever the dependencies that you are installing is getting in here and here we go uh two steps are remaining uh make sure in your package.json you search for package.json and inside the main you have to define this entry point and replace the previous one and uh, you can define your schema just for now no need and make sure if inside your app.json these are the configs app.json where you have to define one additional key value which is bundler metro so now your routing will be supported for the web as well there is a bundler format you can go and check your babel.config.js as well but uh, this is the default setting is already there so you don't have to do anything in there but just for to cross check uh, babel is the bundler all your all of your source code will get bundled uh, using this presets okay this behind the scene operations uh, so we are good to go now all you have to do is to start your project and command plus j uh, go in here paste this expo start hyphen c hyphen c meaning it will clear all the cache uh, so i prefer to go with the hyphen c while developing the things and we are good to go you see bunch of options in here s a i w j these are for the specific android emulator iphone emulator wave you can use hit w and you will you will see this 881 is loading in here so now we are good to go now all uh, the main thing is uh, if you see this uh, here uh, i have to create a new uh, folder in here which is called as app so i'll create app folder in here and inside app if i create the index.js and this is my export default function my function is let's suppose app i i can name it uh, i'll say home page this is my home page and we are good to go this is my home route i can say yeah, this is good this is empty much uh, hello world i want in here so when i do control s in here it should i don't need this as well i don't need this anything in here uh, the copilot is not working since like correctly so 
when I do this, I want to use, you can use the React Native components like view as well. Instead of div, uh, we use view in here and text. So these are the dependencies will come from React Native. So I need view, comma, text. So React Native, it will come from React Native. And let's refresh this. So you see, I created app. This is, this is index.js is the first file that it will get automatically. If I wanted something like slash users, uh, this kind of route, if I want, all we have to do is to create a new folder users in here and paste the same folder, uh, same file in here paste. And this time I'll say, this is, this is my user route. Okay. So this is my user route. I'll paste the same name in here. And this time, if I go, uh, in here, slash users i should see uh, this okay and if you name anything else uh, you will see there is there is this option called sitemap it is not there this route is not there that's why uh, you need to click on this to see which things that you have created i created this underscore sitemap so index.js is there users slash index.js is there so this is how you manage but now the uh, main thing is to link between those two pages. So we use link and this link where you pass, pass the href and href is the path that you wanted to go to. And if I go back in here, you see, uh, I don't have this link imported from here. So I just have to import and you will be ready to proceed further. Uh, let me try this in here. So I'll say import link from react router so this this is a package of react router native so this time if i refresh i sh should see something as far as i know so this is not working let's cross check in here uh, where it is coming from so text that we did already uh native pages or uh, link is coming from expo router so i'll go in here i'll remove this and i'll say expo router this time it should work use command J and use R to reload uh, this uh, page. And for the sake of time saving, I'll just grab this. I'll just grab this. Where is that? Uh, yeah. And this is coming from Expo Router. Let's see. Start again. And it should. Yeah, this is working. I'm not sure why why it the it behaves uh, differently at some time. So all you have to do is to stop this, restart this and click on this about. So it's routing to the users now. So this is not about this users. So this is it. Now imagine if you, if you, if you don't know the path, what, what you want in here, let's suppose ID you want in here and you don't know the path. So what you will do is you will create the file like this inside array. This is a dynamic routing. Okay. Where uh, the source code will remain the same inside here, but uh, you have to use the local storage, the local search params, and that's how you get the ID, and that ID you can store into the const variable maybe, and that you can define in here inside curly braces. So this time the ID will come from here, like slash users slash ID like one, and this should you can see in here. So this is in here. So this ID is dynamically coming like this. Now imagine there is another case where you don't know the path which comes after this, like one, two, three, slash, one, two, three, slash, one, two, three, or whatever. So this is not there and the path you don't know. Then at that time you use uh, something called as dot, 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 the rest operator uh, you might have familiar with inside uh, JS. So this is same this time the code will remain the same as well and this time if you instead of this you will say rest and that rest you will get it from here and put it in here like this uh, this time if i try to run this it should look like this 
this is the uh, basic structure what uh, the main thing after that is you can use a layout this layout is super important uh, layout where you define the stack and everything you can take a reference from here if you go uh, beyond this the you can follow this documentation as well okay you there are a bunch of options like push replace uh, href uh, you can manipulate the router replace when you do the logout it you can do this as well uh, to it will clear the cache and do bunch of things in there so now layout comes into the picture where you define the normal function or oh, you can get it from here let's suppose this is my normal function i'll go i'll paste it in here this time i don't need this many things all i need is a simple stack and that stack contains nothing okay and that stack should be imported from stack in here so expo router so this time you see this top bar this top bar contains the path that you want okay and that path is can be anything so i'll remove this enter index you see the first file name is index the second file name if i go to the users you will see the user slash index in here but the problem in here is uh, there are the file systems that you don't want to name like this okay at that time you want a complete control over the stack that you are uh, creating so this time i need to individually define my stack in here dot uh, dot screen okay and this screen contains the users let's suppose and this time if i go here and i don't need to define the component uh, this is not needed i can define the options maybe in here and that options contains the title that you can manually define as per your choice like this time i just wanted to instead of this i wanted to see this users okay so and of course you you close this reload this and let's go back refresh this time if i go in here i should not see this okay let me search for slash index maybe yeah so you need to define the exact path where it is and that's how you manipulate your options in here you define the titles title like this this is the first thing later you can have control on all the other things that you want the last thing is remaining i guess or uh, if you want this bottom bottom bar in here we call it tabs on click if you wanted to do something in there you have to go in app you have to name directory like this like tabs and in tabs you can get your index let me grab this and paste it into the into here again i'll say settings and index maybe so this time settings dot js uh, and this is my settings tab I'll, I'll name it settings instead of route i'll say we are working on tabs so settings tab and that tab you can see in here i don't need this control s i don't need this linking as well i just need this in index as well and this time i'll say this is my main tab you can name whatever you want the function name doesn't matter in here so these are the two things now you can create a layout in each individual folders as well like layout.txt and this time uh you can define you can use uh, this layout from here as well if you want go in stack navigation and inside stack navigation you can search for uh you can define this this kind of options as well there are a bunch of color operations that that you can change in here if i just grab this options from here and put it into the my stack uh, i'll go into the layout i'll put it into the my stack and later you see the color got changed and you have a complete control over this thing so you will just go through this this is a uh, pretty cool and later what i'll do is i'll go to my tabs and i'll search for tabs actually so you see uh this is how tabs should look like i don't see tabs in here i i'll have to do like this so you see tabs sorry this is the tabs that i want like this this thing i want so for this uh all you have to do is to get this source code from here 
put it in here inside your layout inside this is not txt actually this is my js file and just put it in here so you're good to go and this time if i go and search for tabs it should it should you can see this the problem with this is you don't want to see this the top header and you want the complete control on the top of that so at that time you all you have to do is to go to layout this layout and you get the complete control on the top of your tabs and my tabs i don't want to header shown false okay i don't want to see header in here so that's that's what i did i removed the top header so now you see the this is a tab layout that you use for your android iphone uh things you can increase the uh, bunch of tabs that you want in here this time if i want uh, something called as profile maybe i'm not sure uh, if it will work or not but profile and this is sorry this profile maybe so at that time you will get the icons let it let put okay yeah so you got this right like you can you can add a bunch of tabs in here i don't have that route so you won't be able to see that and the last piece of uh, thing is drawer you can have your drawer layout if you uh, if you want to use that so yeah this is pretty much it for this tutorial guys thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed see you soon in next video till then tada bye bye